Okay, just like a lot of the compositional uh, uh, choices can be made by Norman Rockwell we were talking about as he set, set up his whole scene with the kids at the ice cream counter and then he photographed it or took slides of the whole thing. Um, my compositional choices are assisted as I blow up photographs of my, uh, uh, blow up the photographs that I've taken. Uh, this is the ice cream girl. And I ultimately decided on this size and um, that brings her um, onto the same uh, picture plane as the father. Um, you can see a smaller one, so I thought about pushing her back in the background a bit, um, but decided that I wanted a more of a statement here. Uh, so th that's all composition. That's all uh, helping your, uh, I was going to say reader or listener, because this is so much like telling a story, helping your viewer um, understand what, what you're trying to say. It's like in a musical composition, too. Um, you know, if the pace speeds up or the or slows down, so that's what I'm trying to do with the eye and the, and the, the thoughts and emotions here. So uh, this is the size that I determined would be right for the boy. This took a lot of thinking and measuring for me. When I went back uh, into advanced anatomy, like I said, at graduate school at Winthrop, um, I learned, you know, more things about perspective also, perspective and anatomy from this professor. Um, wonderful professor. And an interesting thing uh, about this is, all right, if this, if this man were standing from here, this is just one interesting thing about perspective, okay? Let's say he was standing. If he was standing, he would be like this tall, right? So to get back in space, you basically measure, you measure your space back is what you would do would be like, basically kind of like footsteps he would have to take to get her her size, where her feet are here, back behind here, see? So if she was standing back here behind him, how tall would she be? These kind of things all have to be determined also. And I, I will tell you this, perspective and anatomy are dying arts, especially starting with something like this, which is a composition which I have not set up photographically and having to determine how it's how it's going to be made. These are things that most artists, I mean myself included, until I went back to learn these things, know nothing about. Know nothing. Which is why a lot of my earlier paintings are very flat. But anyway, before I went to get to learn perspective and anatomy, I'll show you a painting up here that um, you can kind of see uh, works into what I'm talking about, kind of tiling up my own photographic images and how I'll place them around to determine what height I want them and what, uh, what, what dimensions and what angles and all this kind of thing. So this is one with Mick Jagger and I'm working on it with uh, Mick Jagger and uh, some of his black girlfriends and the black mother that's seeing him just, she's walking in and noticing that, uh, she's walking in unannounced into her own house but noticing that Mick has kind of taken over the whole house. So it took me quite a while to figure out, you know, having determine that how I wanted Mick's head and angle of his head, so how big the feet were to be. That's, see, that's a perspective and an anatomy choice. All right, so a lot of those choices went on in this painting. Other things that went into making this painting, um, I've got on the floor here all kinds of um, image files for other decisions that I made. These are possibilities for other demons. Um, this is something, and, and what I do is I take my own pictures and then I combine them with other images and uh, see what I come up with. And now this is actually uh, part of a painting by James Ensor. Sometimes I take non-copyrighted artists' uh, photographs, uh, photographs, uh, photographs of other artists' work, famous artists' work, and they'll end up in the painting. So this is a uh, James Ensor part of a James Ensor image right here that made it into the painting because I was loving him at the time. Anyway, so his, here's this character kind of in a tutu, um, kind of a narcissus type thing, uh, looking into his own image and it's an old lady here and he's in a tutu and it's, all right, don't ask me what that's about. Oh, um, here was kind of another 
Oh, this was, um, I don't know, a dragon image and a uh, kind of a, I'm not really sure what that was about.